okay so after importing the react and react dom we need some dependencies from the apollo client graphql apollo client that we will import and we are going to import it from apollo client okay and what are those dependencies those dependencies are like apollo client one is apollo client another is in memory cache Oh, that is in memory the other important dependency is apollo provider and http link and i like typescript because it populates everything here it is not so yeah uh, we got all the definitions now we will create the http link object const http link and we are going to use this http link this you can think about like you are creating the instance of axios here this is going to create http link for our server and here you can pass the options like what is the url of your server currently it is localhost 4000 this is where we were testing our http uh, graphql server now we'll talk about websocket server later let's say link here i mean if we are not using subscriptions and all then the setup is fairly easy what we need to do here is we can simply create client which we need to pass in the apollo provider new apollo client inside new apollo client you can pass uh, the link here you can pass the link and the cache which is new in memory what was that in memory cache dot restore is a method which you need to call with empty object that is fine okay but here we also want to try subscription so what we will do is there are two different kind of operations two different kind of link one should be a websocket link one should be http link okay so for that we are going to split our http integration in two different ways one websocket and uh, the pure http link okay so we also create a websocket link Post WS link WebSocket link will use the, the new WebSocket link and that we are going to get from Apollo link WebSocket. Okay, and here we are going to use this WebSocket link, and inside this object we will pass the same what is the, the URL and all these options the url uri is same i think it's a uri not url okay and in the options you can pass the reconnect true here you can pass options and reconnect true i mean this is a websocket connection now we have two kind of http link right one is a http link one is a websocket link so how can we split this right so there is a split uh, a utility in the apollo link which we are going to use this split utility and we can say const link equal to split and we are going to split the communication based on the type i mean if the type is operation or type is subscription then we are going to pass all these two so this is from my sample split and here we are passing websocket link and http link and now this link you can pass to the apollo client okay i mean in most of the cases you don't worry about the subscription okay in that case no you don't need this uh, link whatever the http link you have created you can directly pass that http link here okay 
now but here we also want to try something on the web socket so let's do this so now we have a client ready and we can do react dom dot render react dom dot render and here we can just say okay like we have a redux provider i'm going to have apollo provider and then document dot get element by id that's it this is our basic setup right what we did here is we just did the basic integration with simple apollo provider and we are passing this client which we have created using apollo client okay here we are passing the cache and the link if you don't need a web socket you can directly pass the http link in the apollo client so apollo client will say okay this is the http interface in which i'm going to call the query and mutation if you need a web socket then use a split based on the type definition this get definition uh, method we are going to add from apollo utilities i mean this basic setup i have done once i'm just doing the same these are all utilities the split get definition now this link you pass into the apollo client so now the basic setup is done right now rest of the things is go inside your container components you make a graphql query and mutation using use query and use mutation and we can also talk about subscriptions here because we are using it okay thanks everyone